So what's going on everybody? As promised, I'm going to make a little cooking video today. And if you can bear with me, it will be kind of long. Also, you may or may not hear this little guy. He is very unhappy right now. Probably kind of hungry. But that is our rescue kitten. Uh, my fiance found it in a trash can with its brothers and sisters who were dead. Uh, apparently somebody thought that their lives weren't living. He tried to kill that one and it survived. So she rescued it. It's living with us. Even though I'm allergic to cats, I can't turn something like that down. So it's going to be a new member of the family. So you may hear it scratching around or whining. It's getting ready to get fed here shortly, along with the rest of us. Now, back onto the chicken. We're going to make Italian chicken, and I'm also going to show off my super awesome shirt that says, size matters not. Yes, I like Yoda. No, I'm not a Jedi, although I do know one or two. And also, we have Sasha, who will randomly bark it, whatever, because that's what she does. So now, what we got is two relatively large chicken breasts right there on the table. I'll get you a good close view of those. Right there with some Italian dressing, a strainer, a bowl, and an injector. And I will show you all of this shortly, how it's going to work and everything. So as we progress here, we're going to take the Italian dressing and we're going to strain it and get all the chunks out of it. And I'll show you how that goes here. So basically just use a regular wire strainer. Set that in there. Shake it out a little bit. So basically you're just going to get all the good flavoring juice stuff. And then what you're going to want to do is kind of set that in another bowl right there off to the side. Now that you got it all strained out, it'll look a little like that. Just basic juice, no big chunks or anything. You want to take your injector, draw all that up. Now this isn't actually going to be for me, so this is just straight up regular old Italian dressing. Nothing special about it. It's not fat free or anything like that. But there's markings, if you can see them, on the side of the injector here. So you can actually kind of, if you want, even measure this out for yourself if you want to count your macros with it or whatever. So we're going to put the needle on. Now, we've got the chicken breast all laid out here. I've already cut all the fat nastiness off of it and everything like that. So what you're going to do is get your injector ready and then poke it straight down in the chicken like so. And you're going to just inject a little bit. You'll feel it raise up, make a little bump like so. And just do it in random spots. Yeah, it's going to come out a little bit. That's okay, it's not a big deal. The idea is to just kind of randomly get it in there and get it in some spots. And then what we're going to do is, once this is finished, we're going to let it set for about 15, maybe 20 minutes. And then we're going to grill it. And I'll show you how that's going to work. So now that that's all injected, flip those over, take the leftover chunks, and just kind of spread them onto the top there. Doesn't really make too much of a difference how you do it. So then you got that. Also, something else that I find very good is a little bit of McCormick's Italian seasoning. This has a selectable grinder on it. And then you can just take that and grind it over the top as well. So, we'll let this sit for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll get her on the grill. Alright, so, our chicken's been marinating for about a half hour or more. I've been on the phone with Time Warner Cable getting my internet fixed. Anyway, so what we did was, we got the grill fired up and we went ahead and we got ourselves up to temperature here. Notice she's really hot. By the way, don't bust on my grill. I know it's old, but it's all I got. Now, what we're going to do is, and this is the trick, 
It's kind of a secret. Uh, when you're doing the cooking, you want to get the grill stupid hot, and then we're going to spray it with some non-stick spray here, because otherwise the chicken will stick to this grill, and then throw it down with the seasoning side up, like so, okay? And what we're going to do is, we're going to relight the grill here, turn the heat all the way down, kind of keep these in the center if I can, so it cooks better. But what that's going to do is that's actually going to sear the meat down and then allow all that good juice and stuff that we injected in there to stay in the meat. And we won't flip these for a very, very long time. I'm actually going to put my temperature gauge in there and we're not going to flip them until they hit probably anywhere from 130 to 140. Then we'll flip them and finish them off up to 160 degrees, which is safe for chicken. I'll also be basting these with Italian dressing as we go, and I'll show you that along the way. But right now, we're going to let these sit and get to cooking, and then I will show you guys the finished product when she's done. We got some chicken here, and it's been grilling. It's up to about 100 degrees. So what we're going to do is, we got a little bowl here of Italian dressing. We're going to take this, we're just going to dab it on the top and keep it somewhat moist on this side and just keep that flavor in the chicken what that'll do is that'll actually kind of just soak down through there and believe it or not this is probably one of the most important steps to this whole process is that basting part of it and then the finishing once you get it once you get this down this chicken will come out phenomenal this is probably some of the best Italian chicken you'll ever have okay so we're at about 126 degrees right there as you can see what we're going to do now is we're going to flip it and we're going to take this here and flip these guys over you can see those nice burn marks right there that's what you're looking for that means that we got those good and sealed now we'll flip this over like so come over here to our basting stuff We'll put a nice little thin coating of base on the top of it. That will glaze on top of there and it'll almost make like an Italian dressing gel. It's weird, but it works and I promise you it's really, really good. So I'm going to keep that going until this is done. And then instead of just showing you the finished product, I have decided that that one my fiance there who is playing with the cat and trying to get her situated is going to be my taste tester because frankly she hates everything when it comes to food just about except my chicken she was my taste tester when I developed this and got it all situated and I was the basically working my butt off to make her happy she was the complete and total reason that I even perfected this recipe so hopefully you guys can try this and really really like get it you know down to a science like I have and maybe possibly please your loved one or even yourself for that matter we managed to get a final product here or at least somewhat of and here we go as you can see nice and glazed on top and everything now once you've gotten that grilled a very 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 important thing to do is make sure you let it set. Don't immediately bring it in and cut it open. That is a big, big mistake that people make. You want to at least, at least let it set for five minutes. And what that's going to do is allow those juices to actually come back to the center of the meat and kind of stay in there. If you cut it open immediately, everything's going to run out and you're going to lose all that flavor and it's just going to be basically a big mess in the bottom of your plate. So remember, let it set and chill for like five minutes It'll be worth it, I promise. Time for the taste test. So, everybody, meet Lisa. This is my fiance. Don't laugh at the way I cut things. I know I don't do it right. I'm freaking weird. <laughs> it's okay. Lisa, say hi. Look at the hi. camera. Look at the camera. Okay, she doesn't like the camera. Anyway, so she's cutting up the chicken. A little bit of the juice escaped. I think we cut it early, but that's okay. Do we have more? 
more dressing. We'll get you more that. dressing in a little bit if you want it. Well, I want you to try it like this, though. She has to smell everything. I don't know why. It's good. It's about the last. It's about the same as the last time you cooked it. Yes, but is that? I, I would like a little more description if you don't mind. Okay. This is my absolute favorite thing in the whole freaking world. Filling it in the first couple times, it was like, mmm. And even though it hurt his feelings, I still told him exactly what I thought because that's why I am. He asked my opinion. You're getting my opinion. I don't care what you think. He worked hard. It was like every weekend he was trying to make it better and better and better every weekend for about three or four months. And he finally got it. So, there you have it, everybody. And as you can see, it is really good. She has very, very sensitive taste. So, if it wasn't good, she would tell me, regardless of whether this was a YouTube video or not. If you have any questions about how to prep this, or anything you want to know, or anything that I missed that you're not really clear on, please feel free to comment, message me. I'll respond. I'm very, very good about that. I have absolutely no problems helping somebody out. This is one of my best, best, best recipes and probably my favorite thing to make so definitely if you want to give it a shot give me a holler if you have any problems i know it wasn't the greatest description ever i tried but if you need some help just let me know so anyway i hope you like this video i hope it's been informative and if it has been like it comment subscribe to my channel and as always until next time I mean, my heart's beating my heart's beating my hands are shaking my